har me hearties, it's that time again. Shira me timbers, splice the main cell, grab your paintbrush. It's time for that lazy pirate again. Har har. Right, back at club again this week, and another game of Pokemon's The Mets. So we're playing the scenario B. Beating up quarters. So uh, I'm playing parliamentarians and I'm attacking. Or Mike's um, royalists are held off in a village. I need to burn the poor buildings now. Without losing more than half of my troops. So I've split my troops in, into three attacks risk being that the general can only be with one so disadvantage from mike is his general is asleep and he only starts off with a small unit on guard so there we go game on right and the turn one and not a great turn for the parliamentarians all I managed to actually move was the command shot. On the Royalist front, Mike managed to move his shot forward into the gap. Woke a unit of shot and a pike unit up also to face. And the a second unit of pike in the rear. He's still waiting for his dragoons to uh, show their faces. Right. Moving on to turn two. Right, end of turn two, and not much movement for the Royalists. Uh, failed command test on the Dragoons again. It means they're still in the barn. Don't know what they're up to. Um, a lot of movement by the Parliamentarians, so. Shot and Pike have moved up to this flank. Shot have moved up to this flank. And on the front, we're the main royalist battle line. Uh, the dragoons moved up and shot, no casualties. The command shot, shot, no casualties. And the uh, parliamentarian elite cavalry and general have moved in behind the dragoons. Moving on to turn three. So, end of turn three. And Put some shooting into uh, this unit of shot from this shot and from the dragoons that were here. Pass their test. The dragoons have decided to wake up. The pike and the shot has moved into defensive position. And over here, the role is pike and general charge the command shot who failed their evade and got taken down to just one casualty left. And the dragoons, after taking shot, um, failed their test and removed behind the cavalry unit in general. So we're moving into turn four. Right, end of turn four and not too bad a turn for the parliamentarians. We've got a bit of fire coming against the dragoons there, who have now appeared. Um, couldn't manage to move the pike up, but did get another volley of shots into these dragoons. Um, these, this enemy shot. Over here, my general charged in, done some damage on the shot, who had to retreat. Um, Mike tried to return fire in his turn and fell his first command test, so we're on to turn five. Oh, and it is now dawn, so we are now in full light. Right now, end of five, and the royals are being pushed back in the centre. Um, cavalry went in again, pushed these back. This unit is shot. Pushed this unit of shot back. Mike attempted to bring his general's unit back to, to shore up the village. I should bell that command order. So, moving on to turn six. Oh, that's it. Let's have a parliamentary democracy. I don't give a shit. <laughs>
<laughs> so, <laughs> end of six, and yeah, been not too bad a turn for the parliamentarians. I managed to get a charge in, but was beaten back this time, taking a casualty, but the general's still going. I'm now into the village, next to a building, with one on my shot. Mike's managed to um, rally his units in there, but hasn't been able to do any damage as he keeps filling his um, command doors. So we're moving into turn seven. Looking good for the power and terramans at the moment. Right, and seven, and it's getting naughty in the village. So some shots going against my cavalry. But they're still hanging in there. Dragoons moved up towards another building. These shot have managed to set this building on fire. They were then charged by these pike, but then beat the pikemen back off. Surprisingly. Uh, the dragoons and the um, shot continue to trade shots. Uh, over here, the royalist general is chasing down the command shot. So, end of turn seven. Right, end of turn eight, and the parliamentarians have set another house on fire. So we've got two out of the four houses on fire now. Um, they pushed the parliamentary pike out of the village. Um, and that's really about it. So, the Royal General's still over there. And this corner over there, well, what can we say? My shop don't do nothing, the dragoons do nothing. Sit there looking at each other, probably having a cup of tea. So we're moving on to turn nine. End of turn nine, and oh, it's been an interesting turn. So, uh, general charged in, um, killed the shot that was there. Um, but now I tried to burn the house down. Go next house down and fell the dice roll. <laughs> Mike tried to shoot my general's unit because they're pretty badly hurt. Um, Felled it, rolling a double one, and the dragoon started fleeing the table. So, yeah, brilliant. So, we're moving on to turn 10. Right, so the end of 10, and another building's up. I'm in contact with the final building. All the royalists have been pushed back. It comes down to this one dice roll to see if I can burn that building. Going into turn 11. Right, and yes, as you can see, end of turn 11 and a victory for the Parliament. All three buildings are ablaze. Um, and the royal lists are in full retreat. Pike fleeing over here, Dragoons in the back. All but the general, who stood standing there, shouting rude comments at the parliamentarians. Rude comments! Rude comments! You rogues! You cards! <laughs> Game over. Cheers and out.